Hey guys, I'm back for another tutorial. This move was really hard for me to get and it's still not super comfortable, but I think it looks pretty cool. So it's kind of broken down into two parts. You can just do the corkscrew turn alone, and then once you get that, you can add going into an inversion from the corkscrew. So corkscrew, you can do either side. You can stand on the left side of the pole. Your outside arm, your right arm would be above. The side I like to do, standing on the right side, my right arm is low, my left arm is above the right arm. Just to get used to this movement, pick up your outside leg, for me it would be the left one, and then curl in, just so you can get that feeling. And you don't want your arms to be high, you wanna keep them low. So again, lift that outside leg, it's bent, and then curl into that kind of fetal position. Now you can try that with both legs, keeping the shoulders down, and tucking. So again, think about tucking into that ball, into the pole, because that's what you're gonna do when you turn. My inside leg, I'll step on that right leg, my left one comes up, and that's what turns me around and I tuck into that ball. So if I step on the right leg, bring that left leg up, and tuck into a ball. So if you're gonna walk into it, you wanna make sure your right foot is the last that you step on, left leg comes up, and you turn. So once you have that turn, you're gonna take that turn into an inversion. So you don't wanna stay in the turn as long. You wanna cut it a little bit short and then up into an inversion. You can do a snake, a leg hang, or an angel. There's a million names. Who knows what the right one is? So you're gonna do your turn, use your lower abs to go up into an inversion. So we'll kind of show what that is. Glork screw, and then up. And once you're up here, you can do whatever you want. So, hope you guys have fun with that one because this has been a hard one for me. Thanks for watching.